And in just a few moments, we're going to reach peak heating and peak deceleration. That's at 32 G-forces, punishing G-force on our SRC, a phenomenal view of that streaking SRC coming in across the sky. That parachute deployment was given internally by the spacecraft. All of what you're seeing now is autonomous on board that SRC. The team on the the team on the WB fifty seven doing DDL miles down. We have touchdown. I repeat, DDL SRC has touchdown. And touchdown of the Osiris Rex sample return capsule. A journey of a billion miles to asteroid Bennu and back has come to an end. Marking American pieces of the asteroid venue, you see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement of getting that sample from oh, <laughs> the SRC, landing about three minutes ahead of when we had originally predicted. Actually approach this sample, check the area for any unexploded ordinances, UXOs, that could possibly be out there on the range, and then also make sure that that... As I mentioned, that first person on scene will be the on-scene commander, Stu Wiley. He'll be doing an environmental sweeper, getting a nice close-up view. You can see the parachute disconnected. You can see some of the wiring of it. There, just a little, are pieces of the asteroid Bennu. We'll be getting access to those samples in just a few days, and actually seeing exactly what we got from the asteroid regolith. This... Hilo-1 has landed at the recovery site. So our first helicopter, you just heard confirmation, and you can see visual confirmation of that landing. We're maybe about 100, 200 feet away 